Now, before we get into this entertaining video, we would just like to remind you to like and subscribe. Yes, please do like and subscribe. Sunflowers! Hello, my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. How are you? Well, I hope everything with you is copacetic. If you are watching us, please give, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. It is much appreciated. Nevertheless, I'm getting ready to read on the Brad and Judy. I read on them earlier, like seven months ago. I'm reading on them now because they are alleged to be getting a divorce. And I really want to see if it's really as bad as they said. I want to know if it's as bad. Baby Crone isn't with me, so it's you and me against the world. You and me against the world. It seems like you and me against the world. <laughs> well, here we go. They already be shuffled. But we get ready to go in, and I'm going to read on Judy and the bread. On everything, as much as I can think to ask. When I get big one day, I want to have a day where I go live and then you all can call in and ask questions as I be reading them. That is exciting, but I need people to do that. So here we go. Well, I have to pick two cards. The first card would be, I'm going to say Debrat because she was the famous one, okay? Before Judy. So I'll say Debrat. And then here is Judy. Oh my God. Debrat, as you can see, is the Knight of Cups and Judy, the devil. Now, before I move on, I just want to know what is their major problem? I mean, I just feel like I got a shuffle, but I'm not going to. I see here, this is the three of swords or the four of swords. No, oh my goodness. No, it isn't. It is the five negative. The problem is they're not communicating good at all. Their communication is not good at all. Um, one of them just gave up and said, look, I'm not fighting no more. I'm not. And one of them walked away while one has everything, not everything. They carry in two swords, meaning they the ones that feel like they're on top. They feel like they're winning. But even though they are winning, they are still looking back at what they lost. And what is moving forward is moved on. It's gone already. They moved on. Whoever it is between Brad and Judy. Here you see, I said that Brad was first, right? So you see Brad holding out a card. Now it doesn't have to be this way. I'm just telling you what I see and how the cards laid out. I see that the cup is moving towards. It's not really wishing for a breakup. But then Judy is. If the cards are saying it's Judy. The cards are saying Judy is the one with deception. The cards are saying it's Judy. And even though I feel this way, I have no power. And once I shuffle the cards, how are they going to go? The cards have a mind of their own. But the cards are showing it's Judy. I'm feeling this. Mm. And I guess... I see what I see that they have broken up. One has gone their way, gone, heart just gone. And the other one is there, but this person here is big, standing tall, holding everything, but looking back. As if to say, I don't want it to end. I'm not ready for it to end, even though I I I wanted it, but I had. Maybe not wanting, maybe sorrowful. Sorrowful, but this is definitely communication. And I see they lack communication and communicating with each other. Here on the hard side is the wheel of fortune. You know, when I look at that wheel of fortune, 
it lets me know there's still hope, just like this person is looking back as at, 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 at the mess they made. It's a mess. And you're looking at it, their swords are down, you still have yours, but their swords are that they defeated. You gave up the fight, just don't want to fight no more. While the other one is holding their sword, have one up, I'm ready to fight, and looking back. I mean, looking back. On this, on my right, this is my working hand. This is my heart, my work. On this, I see the red cross. I see a regeneration. You need a renewal. You need to rise up. This is a future. You need to rise up from it. Don't let it defeat you. Find a reason to hold on. Find a reason to fight that cross. This is a time for reconciliation. reconciliation. It's a time for you to turn off the old. Forgive. Go up higher. They can do this. It's not over because the cards are saying they can rise up from it. It's the will of fortune. Will they? Will they? Or won't they? So what's going on in the brat's brain? This is what's going on in the brat. What's going on in her mind? Hopelessness. Gave up. According to the card, she the one who walked away. I don't need this BS. I don't need it. I see because that's the moon. But let me be sure. Let me see what Judy's saying. Hopeful. And maybe Judy feels like you love me. We've been through a lot together. We can get through this. And maybe, maybe the brat is like, I'm done. I, I, I don't want it. I don't want it right now. You understand? It may not be that way because what do you make out when the moon? When you get when you get the moon card and and it's the creatures of the night and you see the two pillows there that say that that, that is definitely a, a, a path. Do you want to go through it? Do you want to continue the walk, or are, are you going to let this is the prep, or are you going to let all the things? However, the breath is the one holding the cup, going towards Judy. Judy was the one that showed up in the cards as the, as the devil. But Judy have over her head the will, I mean, um, uh, um, um, the world. So that lets me know Judy is complete, but, but Judy is not fully ready to let it go. But if she does, it's because it ran its course. She's not interested. If she moved on, she moved on. One of them has moved on mentally and for the bottom what what did what did the brat get out of this it seems like the brat is the one that's giving up let me see about judy like i i gave all and the brat looked like she's the one that's giving up let me see let me make sure and judy just seems like it's sad it's heart-wrenching forward so when i look at these cards it's a five, five, five. Judy is looking back. I don't know, but maybe Judy may be the one that don't want to fully let it go. I'm not 100%, but if I'm looking at the cards, that's what the cards are saying. It's saying that Judy is not, she, she's not ready. She doesn't, it's not finances for her. But though it's the financing of the spirit, it just doesn't seem that no matter what Judy is going through, it doesn't seem that Judy is ready to end it. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean she may be going through something. It just doesn't appear that she wants to end it. And I'm just reading it because over top of Judy is the world. Even though she has a lot, it just seems like Judy don't want that brokenness. However, it just seemed to me the brat is the one that gave up. The brat is the one, even though I love you and I wanted to work, it just seemed like there is distrust. Because whenever the devil show up, it always let me know that there is something that's going on that is a secret. Deception indicated. Whenever that card show up, I don't care. It's deception indicated. It's deception. Something is not, someone is not being honest 
Why? Because we know the devil to be a deceiver. Right? And a deceiver what? They lie. And I see here Brett moving on. So what I'm getting a feeling, something happened. And the Brett, even though Brett love her, she doesn't trust her like that anymore. That's what I'm getting. Everything I say is allegedly, I don't know these people, never met them a day in my life. I'm only reading cards. And they're not here to say yay or nay. So we just take it as it resonates. If you feel that it's some truth to it, it's some truth to it. I don't know. But this is what the card's saying. And I trust the cards. And I always like to say, if I'm off, I ain't that off. I may not have the people right. Like, Brett may be the devil, and the devil may be, um, uh, I mean, and the, and the um, cops may be um, Judy. But nevertheless, this is the story. Somebody gave up. Somebody, and, and the cards are saying it is the brat. And the cards are saying the brat. And the cards are saying Judy was deceitful. And the cards, it says Judy was deceitful. And the cards, it says the problem is they bicker and they fight too much over things. And that deception doesn't help. The cards say that the brat is the one that's mentally checked out. The cards saying, even though she's, did you see this horse is moving? This horse is all the way over there. All the way out in the background. As if I, I love, I love Judy, clearly. But it looked like the brat moved on. Judy, on the other hand, Full of deception. And the cards are saying. The world. Completion. Full. Even that means I've done everything I could do here. It's over. And it's a complete circle for me. I appreciate it. But it's not fulfilling. And I'm moving on. I've, I've come to the end of the road. I've done everything that I could do here. It's time for me to move on. And even though it's, I move on with much sadness and even maybe have to pay money, I don't know. It's like the heartache. She feel physical sad about it. They both did. And, but this is just a couple that's not getting on. So let me be on the side of the bread and let's see what kind of energy is coming in with. Okay. Okay, on the bright side, it seems victorious. It seems like something is coming into our life that's going to bring our joy, that's going to take away the grumpiness. And it could be lucrative because maybe someone is bringing her something material, a job, uh, something. But I see someone is handing her something, is giving her something material. Something that she's happy about. Something that she's going to appreciate. And it's a material thing. I don't know what that could be. It could be Judy and her work it out. It could be a job. It could be a business. Who knows what it is. But it's something tangible. Could be love. Who knows. Now let's see on Judy's side. We see the five of wands. And we see, okay, we see this seven of cups. So when I look on the side of Judy, I look at it's still friction along with another five. A five. A five. You see it? Yeah. And the devil is 15. Three fives. So I have to conclude that they're coming with Judy. So what is it, Judy? What is it that you're saying? Judy is not ready to let it go. Not fully. Not like this. She's going to work out deals and she wants to work out things that's favorable. That's what the call. That's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up that she still got fighting. She still doesn't want to let it go completely. And maybe because of something, whatever I see that there is definitely distrust in this relationship. Whatever that went on with Judy or whatever she did or didn't do, I see a mistrust with the brat. And I see Judy here. She's dreaming. She got a lot of ideas. She's got a lot of, she still have love. 
But I don't know if it's delusional. I don't know because inside inside these cups, it just seems like Judy don't know what she wants. Sometimes she won in, sometimes she won out. Sometimes she want to fight for it, and sometimes she don't. I think that Judy is in and out. I think Judy is young, and Judy don't know always what Judy wants. That's what I see. When I put the blending of them together, when I said, okay, what does this cup have to do with it? All I see is friction. It seems like she just doesn't want it. She wants something different. When I see on the side of the brat being victorious, I see at the other end of the spectrum, Judy not knowing fully what she wants. She's still confused about her emotions. Sometimes I want it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm in, sometimes I'm not. And I think that the brat, on the other hand, knows exactly what she wants. And it seems like she's tired of it. And it seems like she's leaving. Everything on the brat side had movement. You see that? They're moving, they're coming out of the water, the animals, the horse is moving. She's movement walking away. Here, movement on a horse. Wheel of fortune, movement. And last, she stands still at the bottom of what she has accomplished. She's still on that. She has a world. She has a baby she accomplished, marriage. She was able to pick herself up even after being in prison, I, I think, for three years. She picked herself up and dusted herself off, and she's proud, and she doesn't want to fall back into that. And Judy still come with a feisty and strong and, and that. And on Judy's side, I see friction and not content mentally. Mentally, she's still warring mentally. Mentally, she still don't know what she wants. And it just seems like she needs healing. I don't know. Or maybe Judy is dealing with things in her past that she can't control. And maybe her past life is coming in now after the baby and the changes that comes with having a baby. The baby changes your life. Your life is not yours no more. The life you had, once you had a baby, it's forever changed. You have two babies, it's changed. You have three babies, four babies, I don't care, up to 20 babies. Your life changed after every child. And I see that their relationship changed. And it was a good thing that they brought in a baby. But it was never intended to break them up. So this is what I see. I just see here, I'm not going to read long. I just see here as one is chill. The brat is chill. Judy still got their fight. Because I guess Judy don't want to be looked at as I'm dece dece deceptive. The cards are showing up, Judy is deceptive. And the cards are showing up, Judy needs to heal and forgive and put the past in the past. The cards are showing that Judy got fight in her and the cards show that Judy don't know what she wants. And for that reason, that puts her in a poverty mentality because she doesn't know what she wants. However, she seems so mature to me, but yet, when I look back at her show, she's immature on a lot of things. And it just seemed to me, Brad and lived the life. And Brad is hard and stable and secure in what Brad wants. The Brad comes off to me. I said it earlier. And another thing I did, I think Brad is a little grumpy. And, and Miss Grumpy to Miss Out There. The Brett, I mean, um, Judy loved to be seen. She loved to be in the camera. She loved the limelight. The Brett doesn't seem like that. She's in it. She's been in it. She just do a show. She more private. And they just, something is not right with them. I've seen it before. And right now they hit it for a divorce. Nevertheless, I hope that they can find a way to fix it. Where it's tolerable. Tolerable for the both of them so they can stay together for the babies. I am so sick and tired of people having babies. After y'all had the babies, you're not even out a good year or two and you're already breaking up. I'm sick of it. It's sickening. It's sad. Carly B got a baby on the way. 
and they broke up. It's sad. It makes me want to cry because I know what it's like to be brought up in a single parent home. Outcome card. Strength. They have to go in their inner strength. Strength. I don't like it. I'm going to add another card. Renewal. I see a king, the, the cups. Renewal. And last. It's like a burden. It's like strength. This is like something has been going on. And they just burnt out over it. Both of them. They tired. Strength. The cups are facing them. They can work it out. And they can get back together if they desire to. But yet, in the opposite, I see the burden. The burden. The burden. But it's a 10. So this is about laying down all of that. Laying those burdens down so we can start anew. Be it together or apart. But I don't feel, but what I'm not picking up, I don't pick up hate from these two. I pick up that they don't get along and that they bicker often. But And they, and they don't have the same beliefs. And I see to it that Judy is deceptive according to the reading. And here I see that they come into a conclusion to drop this burden. To stop the pretense and put all these notions and things down and lay them down. And it leads to a new beginning. It's the new beginning with them or apart. But I definitely see new beginnings and I see strength for them to hang in there. And they got a lot to work out. However, to me, it's not over until the ink dries on divorce papers. If they haven't signed those papers, it's all he said. Until they are signed, sealed, and delivered, it's still hope. They could work it out. Even though it's a lot of bickering and they don't agree. They're like opposites of each other. Opposite. One is more subdued and the other one is out in the open. And it takes a lot to deal with air. And I don't know what, what she is, but Judy remind me of fire. But I'm not sure. So, um, and the bread, I think, I don't know what the bread is, but she remind me of air. Set in her ways. Very wise and strong, very strong, opinionated, set in her ways. But she strikes me as a person that don't do a whole lot of arguing, fight, not, not. Mm -mm. She just get up and say, this ain't working, I'm out. And maybe that's the life she lived. And I guess being in prison for three years, the heart and the heart. But, but the brat is hard. Sweet as gold, but she's hard. Sensitive, but hard. And I guess you have to be that way. And once you learn to be a way, how do you break away from it? Well, if you came this far on the video, please thumb us up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We really, really would love that so much. Well, I hope that you got this because it does seem like somebody about to lay their burdens down. Let me lay just one more card out before I end it. Yeah, here's a one. Lay those burdens down. Start anew. Where? I don't know. Just looking out on the impossibles. All things are possible. Where do I go now? Looking out with this four, with this three of clubs, energy. Just looking out. All this creative energy, just looking out and saying, what do I do now? Where do I begin? That's what I see. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sunflowers. <laughs>